Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page two of Let's Get Artsy, Graphic 45, um, newer collection. Okay, I've got a bunch of stuff going on, and um, yeah, I'm trying to do something a little bit different in this album, where I'm not just attaching all my flaps to the edges, I'm actually placing them on top of the base page. So I have to do... A little more thinking about um, placement and um, and also thinking a little bit more about magnets so it really is not more it's different um, so we're gonna start with this uh, which is from the patterns and solids as the base for page two I'm gonna make sure I'm right side up oh by the way I added um, these two sayings which were um, one of the strips cut off um, the page as uh, the finishing touch on page one. So it is right side up. So we're going to go ahead and glue down the first designer page paper. And it's going to go straight down on our pocket page. And yeah, so that's going to go right here on our pocket page. Just going to look at all my edges. Looks pretty good. Happy with that. Burnish that into place. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay. Looks a little high on this corner, but not too bad. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay in this flap. This flap is, um, oh, and, I'll, and by the way, I'm doing a lot of stacking. Um, so there'll be, um, like, you'll attach the flap, then we'll put on a designer page, then we'll add another element on top of it. Um, and I don't do a lot of that. Um, generally speaking so it's just a little bit little bit more stacking okay so this is four and a quarter by seven let me double check that four and a quarter by seven so yeah that's right we're going to come in about a half inch i'm going to line this up with my grid on my craft mat and i'm going to use half inch as sort of the the um the target so I, I also am doing um, another thing that I don't typically do. Because I'm doing so much stacking, I'm going to add a gusset here. Um, so when it's closed, it'll have this gusset. So you score at a half inch and then five eighths. Half inch and five eighths. And then I, because I'm installing this directly on the designer paper here, and this is going to be exposed. I rounded my corners and I'm going to put a little decorative strip there when we're done. So hopefully that makes sense. And I did not put tape on it. I don't know why. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay. I am going to use my Tim Holtz, I think it's Tim Holtz, yeah, Tim Holtz ruler to help me with placement. So I'm going to come in a half inch from the edge of the pocket page, not the designer paper, but the edge of the pocket page, the black part. And then I'm going to place this. So I'm going to get started by removing part of this strip. There's my gusset, so I'm going to push it back. I want the first score line, the half inch score line, to marry up to that half inch mark. And then I'm going to center it um, top to bottom. And that's another half inch because this is seven inches and the page is eight. Oops, let me see. That looks about right. Let's come back in with. Ruler. Okay. Okay. So 
So there's our first flap. Okay, now on top of that flap, again, this is four and a quarter by seven, score half inch, score five eighths. And the next one is four by five and three quarters, four inches across by five and three quarters inch tall. You're gonna score just a half inch. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape on it, but I was talking about stacking to help remind myself that I actually have to decorate this before I install this flap. And I'm not used to doing that, so it's a very easy thing for me to forget. Okay, so we are going to decorate this flap. This flap is going to use this. Nope. I've already got it cut out, so I need to find it. No, that goes on the small one. I think that's what I had. I'm not sure. I hate that. That's too short. Why do I have this big piece? I'm not sure. Let me lay it out again real quick so I can make sure of what I'm doing. This is going to go here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I don't know why I have this long strip. It was, maybe it's just leftover paper and I thought, oh, it is. It is. I can tell now by the orientation. I think I was doing some paper sorting before I started recording and um, by size so I could, you know, do some paper planning for the next page and it got left on the table. Okay, we're going to use the words up. This is from the Patterns and Solids. This is a very colorful um, collection and you're you really cannot do without the patterns and solids. Um, there's just way too much going on. Okay, there. There we go. Okay, now we can pull this in. This is going to get centered up and down, like so. Um, and I'm going to put the magnet on the back side and as you can see I kind of wrote myself a little reminder so we can go ahead and install this and then decorate it as soon as I find my pick tool which I don't know what I did with it This is not the right one, but I'll use it. The other one has, it's a little bit thicker. It's more comfortable to hold. It's round. Okay. So it's going to be flush with this edge and then center top to bottom. I'm not going to measure it. I'm going to eyeball it. So you have a slight inset and there's your yellow behind it. It's going to go on top and I don't think it's inked, so we'll do that real quick. I am using Powder Puff in, what is it? That's not the right piece. Chocolate Malt. All right, so we've got um, the top flap, the secondary flap. Now we're going to work on the, the other side, the flip side. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull this flap in about a half inch. Now what's different about this one is inside and outside is I'm going to put it, anchor it this way, and then I'm gonna have this large piece, and we're gonna decorate it, both sides. Um, this one also has the double gas gusset, 
or a true gusset, not just a hinge. You're going to score, well, let me tell you the size first of all. It's seven inches tall, same as this, and it is six and three quarter inch wide, six and three quarter inch wide. You're going to score a half inch. Let me give you the easiest measurement. A half inch. That doesn't seem right. Two and a half. Yeah. A half inch at two and a half and two and five eighths. Two and a half and two and five eighths. So it's going to get installed just like so. And I rounded these quarters again because it just softens this layer when you're looking at it. I haven't rounded the corner of the designer paper. But when you lay in this designer paper, instead of having a hard right angle, I think the, the rounded corner looks a little bit softer. And I don't know. Here it is. I was going to say, I'm not sure what I did with my corner rounder. And I can't remember if I'm doing... I did the wrong corner. Darn it. Uh, looks like I'm doing a quarter inch. Yeah, I'm using the quarter inch rounded. And I picked the wrong side. So that looks like it's going to need to be trimmed a little bit. I'm going to put this one in upside down because I wasn't paying attention. It's not easy to, to see, but I can see there's a butterfly that's upside down. So it's not significant, but pay attention when you're doing yours. It might be more obvious depending on where, um, where in the pattern you cut this piece from. Okay, so that's going to go here. And I do need to cut just a little bit off the back end. Too much stuff on my back. Too much stuff. So, yeah. I think I rough cut it at two and a half. Um, which is the full size of where the score is. Okay, that's better. Let's ink it. We're going to go ahead and lay it down. The, the faster you can lay down pieces, the better, so you don't accidentally repurpose them. Okay, let me go through that one more time. Six and three quarters across by seven. Six and three quarters across by seven. You're going to score at two and a half and two and five eighths. Just like we did over here, we're going to come in about um, a half inch from the the uh, the top score. So when it's open, it's gonna or when it's resting, it'll look like this. We're going to go to this score line, and rather than use tape, I'm going to use glue because it's such a large surface. You can use tape here too. Line this up and it come in a half inch, which is right about there. And then I'm looking across to see that these are pretty much lined up and they are. Okay. So that's down. So that's what we have so far. The top here is going to, we're going to pull this pattern back in. Okay. 
for the inside. It looks like it. Yes. And it needs to be trimmed just a little bit or it's going to be in that gusset. This blue is from the Patterns and Solids. Yeah, it fits much better. this for a second. Yes, that's correct. Now we're going to start adding another layer. So this piece is actually going to get adhered to this, to the top. And then this flap is what's going to hold it closed. So I'm going to have a magnet here and a magnet somewhere over here. And I think I'm going to flip this design and do this. So this, is, this piece is just a mat, and then this is an extension of that mat. And this is where I may have to stop and trim a little because um, it's really hard to get your measurements down when everything's moving. So now that I have these two flaps in, that goes a long way to help me out. So let me look and... See what I was thinking. So this is too big. This needs to be here. And this is going to come out a little bit. And then I want the same border I have on the top to be on the side. So that means. This piece needs to be a little bit shorter. So by a little bit shorter, now that I'm holding it in place. So these are the things I'm thinking about as I'm putting it down. So these are pretty much rough cut. So when this is in its open state and this is in its open state, I really want this part to fall right here. So that means this needs to come off about that much. So I'm going to trim both the um, black cardstock and the designer. And we'll take another look at it and hopefully we'll be good. So I'm going to start by trimming this piece down. And then I'll tell you what size it is. Okay, that's one three quarter by. All right, I'll just take another look. Just 
still not enough. Let me move this over just a bit. Okay, that looks like it's going to do it. Okay, so this needs to be trimmed just a tiny bit more. Okay, so this mat is four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths by four. Four and seven eighths by four. So cut a piece of uh, cardstock for that mat. This is going to be six and a half by yeah, six and a half by four and a half. Okay, I'm trying to rub it off. So both these are are just mats that are going to get installed. So the black mat, six and a half by four and a half. Cut a piece of yellow cardstock or designer paper. Okay, now I gotta think. Now I gotta think. Uh, because this is where the magnets are going to come in. There's going to be a magnet over here somewhere. So I'm going to place a magnet right here. As soon as I find one. And the reason I have to put that down now is because I need to decorate it, right? So that's why I did not put anything here. Once I get this installed, then we'll locate the second half of the magnet. Hopefully that all makes sense. So now we're going to go ahead and cover that magnet up with this yellow cardstock that we have cut from the Patterns and Solids. And I wish I could find my favorite tip tool. It's not like me to mislay that. It's around here. This one's so fine, it wants to go underneath the tape. That's why I don't like it. Or I don't prefer it. It, it works, but it's a better weeding tool than picking up things with. Okay, now we're ready for this. So we have a decision to make. It's this and this, or this and this. Oh, I kind of like the red against it. What other options do I have? Just yellow on yellow. I don't care for that. We can do blue, oh, blue, red. I think I like the blue better, so that's what we're going to do. Let me see if I can find a piece that's closer in size. Nope, I'm going to have to trim this down a little bit. But I do like that. Uh, I like this look better. And remember, this is going to be like this. So when you look at it this way, you realize, ooh, that's a lot of just a plain pattern. So this would be our other option is the blue words. 
Let's, let's take a look at that. And that's also a pattern of solid. Or this blue. It will have a, a it will look more like that. They'll have a trace of yellow around it. That or that. And this will be the closed position. Everything intact. Or that. Yeah, that's a tough one. I gotta think about it a little bit. I think this is what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. This is coming gonna be um, added here regardless. So now it's a question of where exactly? Right about here. So I'm just flipped it over so I can do a quick mark on where to stop start the glue. And then it'll go back down that way. This is roughly centered. Yeah, not going to measure it. So that's going to go like that. And now that I know what size this is, we can focus on this. And that looks about right. So we'll trim this blue piece down. Oh, we can also go ahead and add a magnet back here. So that magnet is going to be attached here. Do it before I forget. Okay, I just want to think about whether I want to do this blue or the other. Kind of like this. So let's do it. Ink it, lay it down. Last is we're going to stack it right here. And again, I'm looking for consistent border. It's a little bit challenging because both of these have some wiggle in them because it's not just a hinge, there's a gusset. So kind of test it um, a little bit, make sure it's where you want it. It's actually a little bit low on one side, but pretty good. Okay. All right. So what's next? What's next? We need to decorate the insides. So I like to, when you open it, I like to know what it's going to look like when you open one flap, 
And then I want this to coordinate across, but also this way. So ideally, these two will have the same pattern. I think this is too busy. And we've got fuchsia, yellow, and blue as our primaries. So I want to go back to those. I don't want to reintroduce Ed, uh, a new color like red. So let's see what I have in my scrap so far. Let's see if there's something I can use. That works with this which means I could use that over here. So just kind of flip-flop them. And I think I have a piece right here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So this is going to get trimmed down to fit right here. So let's focus on getting the right height. Now we'll work on the width. Now we'll do the same thing up here. Now in this case, I want to make sure I have a thin strip to cover this with since we installed it on top of instead of on the edge of. When you do edge, uh, you don't have to worry about covering, piecing the uh, hinge in. You wind up just covering the whole thing. Okay, let me get it to the right height. Okay. And I want this to be a continuous pattern, so I'm going to cut from this side. And if I was thinking, those corners would have been rounded. like I did here. Okay, I think it goes this way. Yeah. To me, it's easier to put the glue here than it is on the back of this. It's really just a preference though.
Yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. Okay. Now, let's see, what's next? Um, now I'm going to we're open this, open this. Now we're going to add a horizontal card here. And I'm going to get that some already cut out. So this is going to go in here. So now, as we look across, again, we're looking to coordinate our papers. So we want to look at, at this, these patterns. That's pretty. Um, not so much this one. Nah, we can't. We can look at it, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Oh, here's another piece of... Something. Oh, that. I really like that. Okay, so before, there's a yellow. Before we um, lay this mat down, we're going to cover this. So let's see what options will actually fit, or if I have to cut through another piece of cardstock. So this one fits, but I'm not happy with how that looks. It's just not working for me, and it actually doesn't fit because I need to strip for here, and it's it's not quite wide enough. So I'm going to actually go back to this to see if I what I've got left of that. Oh, I have this too, and then the other thing would be yellow, bringing yellow back in. Yellow, well, hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to make this yellow the um, the base, and then make the portrait um, photo mat here. I'll make that into uh, the blue. So I need to get a larger piece of yellow, or so that fits widthwise. I could also do some color blocking here. I think that's going to be a little too complicated. So let's see. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and round the corners before we turn it. It'll be much easier. Number one is a quarter inch. I want as we're looking across do we want this pattern or solid keeping in mind something's going to be on top of this <laughs> I'm not sure I want to think about it Thank <laughs> you. 
I think I'm leaning toward this. Oh no, we're going to do solid and I'll tell you why, because these two patterns are the same. I don't like that. So we'll do the solid and then we'll make sure that the photo mat that goes on top will be a print of some sort. I don't know what's going on this year. We've had these little flying insects driving me crazy. Oh, sorry. I, I got a cramp on my thumb. It's not one to look. Okay. Well, that made that decision for us, right? I think the same pattern in two different colors is too much. Okay, now we'll cut this this down to fit. <sighs> it's right in my face. Probably can't see it. It's like a fruit fly, but it's not a fruit fly. <laughs> But they're everywhere this year. Okay, now we're going to do a photo mat here. Isn't this, I just, I don't know. This just doesn't work for me. That's too much. Uh, what size is this? Oh, it's pretty small. Okay, I need some blue. So this is what we're going to use. Yeah, that's what I want. I think. Let me look. Yeah, it's definitely 12 by 12. At first, I thought it was from the 8 by 8, but it's 12 by 12. Oh, I should tell you the size, right? Should I tell you the size of this? I can't remember. Six and a half by four and a half, and this wound up being sorry, four and three quarter by four. Yeah, four and three quarter by four. So this is six, six by four. Six by four. Let me see what else I have. Let's see if I've got a bigger one. Six by eight. This one's a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to use it. It's six and a quarter by eight and a half. And you're going to, oh, do I want to do that? No, this one's going to go down here, I think. So let's do six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Just a, flint, a plain map. That's what we're going to do. Reason my I don't think my turn is cutting straight. 
wandering me. Maybe it's my old eyeballs. Okay, that's right. Look at all this out of field of vision. I need to ink. This will go here. Make sure when I close it, there's no interference. And there's not. And then here, I'm going to put the card, the six and a quarter by eight and a half, it's going to go here and open up. So, I need to put something on the back of this. Mm -hmm. Think about that. So, when it's closed. We want blue here. I'm going to go with the um, blue words, providing I have some, which I think I do. There they are. So we're going to use the blue words right here. And that is going to go on this one. So we'll go ahead and cut that down. I try to look through my scraps first before I cut into a big piece. That doesn't always really work out. Should be six and one eight. So I'm going to close these again. We're going to look at what's peeking out. Okay. 
I definitely like this here. This I'm not sure. I can kind of stagger a little bit more like this. So just a tiny bit sticking out now. Okay. Okay, so we could do this, add a little bit of fuchsia back in. Let's see how that looks peeking out. Oh, I like it. Okay. Now this, well, that's the other thing is I could do that. I don't want to waste that whole mat though. It does look good. All right, I like it. I'm going to do it. So this is just going to be a photo mat. Uh, well, actually, it's just a layer. It's not going to be a photo mat. It's going to be a layer behind the card. So I'm kind of looking at this edge. Mm, I think I want it this way. It's a little bit more than I want to show. So I'll bring it down just a little bit. And then this photo mat's going to go right here. What do you guys think? Pretty nice. It's a lot going on with, and we only use two magnets. Okay, now there's a ton of um, little bits and bobs that we can use to further decorate this, but I am going to take a break for now. My thumb is not cooperating, and I'm sure I'll just start dropping things. It's just a matter of time. So that's it for now. When I come back, we're going to further enhance um, this layout. And then I'm going to hold off covering this until I've got more of my pages designed because I'm not sure I can give up that much paper right now. Um, yeah, so, oops, goes that way. All right, I'll be back soon.